So here to speak to that one, we have David Butler, CEO of McKinsey Willamette, and I have been chided very thoroughly for not inviting you to join our panel. I, my apologies. Thank you. Yeah, that's an interesting question. And, you know, we've got a lot of colleagues up here. We work very closely with Dr. McGovern, Dr. Cap, and we too see the shortage. It's very difficult sometimes to recruit physicians and specialists in this market. Just to give you an example, we've been trying to recruit GI doctors for the last five years. We've probably gone through 60 candidates and have zero. I hope Dr. Governor is a little better success rate than we have. But, you know, I understand all the economic issues that people are dealing with, the health systems are dealing with, physicians are dealing with. Uh, when, when we heard about University District closing downtown, uh, you know, I understand all the economic reasons. Uh, we did some fe feasibility studies and our team got together and I've been at other organizations where we actually had satellite or freestanding EDs. So we've actually been talking with the Eugene city mayor and city managers. We actually met with the governor of Oregon and uh, got kind of the green light to at least move forward with uh, a CON, which is a certificate of need application. We've done, done a lot of due diligence in the Eugene area, and uh, we found a local investor and a local developer that's willing to help us put this plan together. We're actually in the phase of getting a contract where uh, we would sign the contract and, and the developer and architects would actually uh, put together a build and design phase for this. We looked, combed all over, you know, west and, and south Eugene. There's not a whole lot of available sites, uh, but we think we did fi find a pretty good site. Um, don't want to tell you about it because you might go out and buy it. <laughs> Uh, but it's got great access, over 25,000 cars go by there every day. And so we're very close to getting a contract agreement done and signed uh, that we're, we would go into the design and architectural design phase. At first, this was kind of a, you know, it wasn't public knowledge, it is public knowledge now. So we wanted to share that with you and we're willing to work with any of you. And uh, initially we're looking at about a 12 bed uh, satellite ED. Uh, it would have the, op the ability to grow and expand based on the, the site that we're looking at. Uh, so we feel that, you know, we have two really good hospitals in this community. Unfortunately, they're both in Springfield. And even though it doesn't take you an hour to get across town, it's still, it's a disadvantage to have to drive all the way over to, you know, McKenzie or Riverbend to get health care. We know there's a lot of great urgent care centers, and we appreciate that, but this would be a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week uh, uh, freestanding, or what we call a satellite ED. It would be on the same license as the hospital. If, once we get the design and build phase done, it, we're probably looking at about a two-year or two-and-a-half-year construction time frame. We do have a couple of our ED uh, doctors, Dr. Wright and Dr. Hoyt. Dr. Hoyt is uh, actually the chief of staff. They run a great emergency room there. We know uh, we work very closely with Jim, and we know there's a lot of wait times, and we're doing our best to try to accommodate that. We've worked very closely with Dr. Cap, and you know, we see the shortage. We actually, we don't employ any primary care docs, but we do partner with a lot of groups, a lot of independent groups. So if we can't own them, then what we've done is helped with income guarantees, recruitment, placement, uh, relocation and those type of things. So uh, we're trying to do our part, but we all have to work together as a team on this.